New Zealand's Michael Campbell is on the verge of his greatest victory, taking a two-shot break into the final round of the British Golf Open. Campbell today finished with a superb 7 under par 65. He leads Italy's Constantino Rocca by two, with Australia's Steve Elkington a stroke further back. Of the other Aussies, Brett Ogle is three under, while Robert Allenby is even. Here's Jack Newton. Nick Faldo had plenty of admirers today. Playing partner Steve Elkington wasn't one of them. She ran right past me when I was getting ready to, you know, hit my shot. Went over to Nick, kissed him. He hit the ground. You know, he rolled around for a while, you know, like he does. Birdies at two of the first three holes gave Elkington the perfect start. It didn't take very long about it. <laughs> and really tremendous shot. The old course had a new look in the third round. The wind blew strongly into the golfers on the front nine. The greens became rock hard and at times impossible to hold. It's galloping away. But when you're from Windy Wellington and your name's Michael Campbell, it was ideal conditions. Beautiful combination of line and pace there. This game can offer many nerve-wracking tests. Yes. Against the road hole bunker when you're leading the open is as tough as it gets. He got near. Campbell's bogey-free seven under par 65 was one of the greatest rounds I've ever seen given the conditions, the stage, and the struggle the overnight leaders had to post a score. Tomorrow he gets the opportunity to show the rest of the world what I've thought for some time, he is destined for greatness. Jack Newton at St Andrews for Seven Nightly News.